Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Coding Decoded. My name is Sanjit Deja. I am working as Technical Architect Software Engineer 4 at Adobe. And here I present Weekly Contest 293, Largest Combination with Bitwise and Greater Than Zero. Here in this question, we are given an array of integers and we need to identify the largest combination of candidates with Bitwise and Greater Than Zero. So here in this question, we have provided an array and for this particular example, the output turns out to be 4. How? Let's walk through the presentation where I'll be explaining you the algorithm as well as driving you through this test case. The key point to be noted over here is we need to identify that largest combination of candidates where the bitwise and, bitwise and is greater than 0. It could be any value greater than 0. We don't need to maximize that value. We need to maximize the largest combination of candidates. This is the key takeaway from this question. Lead code double to seven five combination with bitwise and greater than zero. It's a medium level question on lead code and I also feel the same. So what I'm going to do, let's take the same example that was specified. We have elements as 16, 17, 71, 62, 12, 24 and 14. So first of all, I have represented all these numbers in their binary representation. So 16 is represented as this, 17 is represented as this, 20, 71 is this, 62 is this, 12 is this, 24 is this, 14 is this. Also, you should remember that when we are performing the bitwise and uh, we have the rules as and of 0, 1 happens to be 0 and and of 1 bit with 1 bit turns out to be 1. So for the and bit to be 1, both the bits should be 1 in nature. If you can, if you remember these rules, then this problem is cake up work for you. How? Let's look at the algorithm. Let's try and identify at what all places is the 0th bit set. So if you carefully see, there are only two places where the 0th bit is set. So let's write 2 over here. Let's count such instances. Let's check at what all indexes is the first bit set. So where is first bit set? 1, 2 and 3. At 3 positions, the first bit is set. Let's continue and look further. Let's try and identify those positions wherein the second bit is set. So second bit is set as 1, 2, 3 and 4 positions. So let's write 4 over here. Let's continue. Again let's check. Let's identify those, posi uh, those positions at the third bit where the value is set. 1, 2, 3 and 4. Let's continue further. Let's identify those positions where the fourth bit is set. 1, 2, 3, 4. So let's write 4 again over here. Let's identify those positions where the fifth bit is set. There is only one position where the fifth bit is set. So let's write one over here. And along with this, you will also check that there is only one position where the sixth bit is set. So let's write one here too. So if I, if you carefully analyze this, then the maximum value across this array turns out to be four and four becomes the answer. Why I am saying this? So let's try and identify all those places where four occurs. The first one is this one. And if you carefully see what all numbers correspond to this 4, the first one is 24, the next one is 62, followed by 17 and 16. So if I create six, an array of 16, 17, 24 and 62, and if you perform the AND operation of these 4 numbers, you will see that it comes out to be greater than 1 by virtue uh, that the fourth bit is set across all of them which makes absolute sense the other contender could be 14 24 12 and 62 so uh, the other contender is 14 24 12 and 62 so if you perform the and operation of these four numbers again you will see it comes out to be greater than zero by virtue of the third bit this one and let's proceed ahead and uh, let's check out for the next contender. The next contender would be 14, 12, 62, 71. So here if you check then the third bit is set across all of them as a result of which the AND operation of 14, 12, 62 and 71 will come out to be greater than 0. This is the third contender. So we were interested in identifying the size of such combination 
and it turns out to be 4 so what we are going to do we will represent each number in a binary format we will check how many numbers have their bits set at each index starting from the 0th index up till the 31st index that exists in the binary representation and we will then identify the maximum value that exists across this count array that we have created here it would be 1 1 4 4 4 3 2 and the rest one would be 0 and the maximum value here would be 4 and this becomes the answer to conclude it further let's quickly walk through the coding section and i'll exactly follow the same steps as i have just talked here here i've created the binary set count array and the size of it is 32 because the binary representation starts from the 0th index up till the 31st index i iterate over this input array i iterate over my candidates that i have i check whether this uh, the ith bit is set in the current candidate if it is then i increment the count of binary set count at the ith index once i'm done with this loop i simply iterate over the binary set count array and identify the maximum value that exists over the entire array and that becomes the answer so let's try this up accepted uh, and this seems like a pretty simple and straightforward approach the time complexity of this approach is order of 32 into number of candidates that we have so length of array with this let's wrap up today's session i hope you enjoyed it if you did please don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel thanks for viewing it have a great day ahead and stay tuned for more updates from coding decoded i'll see you with in some time with the last question as well also i have solved the previous two questions both the links are stated in the description below so if you have any doubt solving them please do check them out